This is day one, episode three of my modular journey. And today I'm talking about a couple of miscellaneous utilities that I bought early on. Uh, one of them was, of course, how to get sound out of the rack. Because once you, once you have all your modules lined up here, uh, at some point everything has to leave the rack and get to the, to the mixer or the amplifier or the headphones or whatever. So the seemingly obvious choice to start with was a relatively inexpensive uh, little device called the IntelliGel Outs. Uh, it, it takes uh, left and right in from the board, like all the sound signals come left and right in, and then it passes them through to the out of to the mixer or to a headphones. And, and each one of them has its own little uh, adjustable volume here. So this seemed like, a, again, a no-brainer uh, for me. Um, it was about $150. And, and it'll sit on the far right always because it, it literally is the end of the chain. So to, again, to get all the sounds to one spot and out of the board, another thing I felt that I needed was a simple mixer. So I went with the uh, Bifaco ST Mix. It is a very uh, inexpensive, another $150 unit, and it has four channels of stereo in, uh, which are mixable with these volume, these potentiometers here. And then it also has this auxiliary in for passing sound straight through, like uh, like a drum box or something that has its own volume controls. Uh, so left and right out of here goes to the left and right on the outs, and then the left and right out of there goes to the mixer. So you can see how the how the chain is working, right? And again, these are both going to sit at the end of the chain because they're they're all about passing audio out of the box. And the last utility for right now is this uh, this molt. So I didn't know what these were to begin with, and so I was started buying stack cables a lot <laughs> to split my signals, and then I learned about buffered mults, and uh, that kind of changed that dynamic a little bit. So basically what a mult is, is it's a signal splitter. So you have a, like an input jack for something coming in, and then you can split it three times. So you can use the one signal three different times or in this particular mults case you could plug one thing in here and get nine uh, nine outputs uh, or it has these three sections so you could split up to three things three ways so the mult came along be again because i don't want to use stack cables everywhere and it, it's become pretty handy in a lot of the patches i've been putting together but i'll i can see where i'm probably going to need a few more of these by the time i reach my ultimate goal uh, because splitting signals is actually really handy. So that is it for episode three, general utilities. The next episode is where things start getting a little exciting because it's one of my favorite modules so far uh, called Pamela's New Workout. It's a, it's a clock source and a whole lot more. So stay tuned.